All right, so this is number four from our circles assignment. And it asks us to uh, you know, write the equation of this circle in general form. So uh, what I'm going to do first is write the equation in standard form. Let me see if I can get this, uh, get this right here. So it's x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, uh, where h and k represent the center. All right, so our center, if we count over, it's negative 5 for x, and it looks like 4 for y. So the center is going to be negative 5, comma, 4, and our radius uh, looks like it's 3 units. So the radius looks like it's 3 units. All right. All right, so it says x minus h, and h is equal to a negative 5 here. So when we go to write it in standard form, it's going to be x plus 5 squared. Uh, I, I just think of it as, you know, this means 5 to the left because you're adding 5 on the inside, and that's why it's negative 5. But, yeah, you do whatever makes sense to you. Plus, and then for the y... Uh, we're going four units up, so that's going to be y minus four. Again, it's in parentheses, so it's the opposite of what you think. And then r squared. Well, the radius is r, so that's three squared. Okay. And then we're going to multiply this out and uh, get it in general form. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do the uh, the multiplying out part kind of in one swoop here. So x times, you know, th pretend there's two of these x plus fives there, you know, kind of like, kind of like this. So you're going to get x squared plus 10x, because there were two of those 5x's, plus 25, uh, plus, and then we're going to do the y's here. Okay, so... Again, pretend there's, oh, that's a weird color. I think I, yeah, I went too far on my, there we go, I'll just do it in blue. You're going to get y squared minus 8y plus 16, because of the 4 times 4, uh, equals 9. That's for my 3 squared. Uh, let's combine terms here, what we can anyway, the regular numbers. We're going to have x squared plus y squared for those two. We're going to have a 10x. We're going to have a minus 8y. And then we have a few numbers here. We have 25, 16. And then remember, we got to move this 9 over. So we got to subtract 9. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> 16 minus 9. That's equal to 7. So I'm going to do a positive 25 and a positive 7. So that's going to be a positive 32 equals 0. Hopefully that matches one of the uh, answer options over here. Yeah, it probably does. All right.